I have stopped buying Bitcoin and this is my new investment strategy. Now, of course, this does sound very radical and it doesn't mean that I'm going to be stopping buying Bitcoin for <laughs> for my whole life or, or anything like that. It's just the short term and I'll explain to you in a second. I'm Kieran from CryptoBulls and I'm happy to have you here with me today. So today I'm going to be talking to you about why I alternate be between buying Bitcoin and altcoins. And one reason that it's very important to you to calculate your your portfolio value in sats or in gray. Now, first of all, Bitcoin is king. Like very often the whole market is dependent on the ups and downs of Bitcoin. If if you are if Bitcoin's going up, then very often your altcoins are also going up or they stay the same and that's because of the that Bitcoin is very often the base valuation. Now, of course, there are a lot of new um, exchanges that are offering altcoins. And I think that's fantastic because the more altcoins are offered by exchanges and you can buy those altcoins directly with fiat, then the, the power gets taken away a little bit by Bitcoin and the rest of the market is less affected. However, I think the one reason why at the moment Bitcoin is still the king is because if you talk to anyone on the street, you go and talk to them and say, hey, have you heard of cryptocurrency and so on? They probably have heard of Bitcoin. However, I bet a lot of money that they have not heard of Cardano or, or uh, other other altcoins, BNB, Binance coin and so on. They probably never heard of them since even even people knowing a lot about Bitcoin is, is quite a lot to ask. So let's get to it. And yeah, so first of all, we're going to look at the BTC USD chart. So here we've got a nice BTC USD chart. I've got, I've got my support lines drawn in and so on. However, on this investment strategy, I'm going to show to you what I like to look at. So first of all, the price is, is relative. I've got my my investment goal and I'll be buying below that a certain price that I set and then based on certain indicators. I made a video about how I like to dollar cost average and what strategy I use. I'll link that down below if you're interested. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about this, the, um, the exchange pair and why it's very important to look at a different exchange pair and not only BTC SD, especially when you're looking at our coins. So when Bitcoin is rising very often, the uh, the exchange rate is also rising. So now if we look at Ethereum BTC, now we look at the price of Ethereum divided by the price of Bitcoin and that is calculated in sats. So at the moment it's 0 0.03. And as you can see, if you look at the ETH BTC exchange pair, we've had a very, very sharp downtrend and a bit of a break out of this trend, which in my opinion is very positive. So we've got a strong line for the ETH BTC exchange rate and that's at 0 0.029. So in my opinion, it's as when the exchange rate of any coin to BTC is very low. So then in my opinion, it makes much more sense to buy those coins instead of buying Bitcoin because the the whole cryptocurrency market moves in different cycles. You've got altcoin cycles and you've got Bitcoin cycles and so on. And at the moment, the Bitcoin dominance is very high, around 60%. And very often when Bitcoin's dominance is that high, the, it turns to be a reversal and the money starts flowing into the altcoin market. And that means then that Bitcoin more or less remains the same or sinks a little bit and then many altcoins gain in value but gain in value because the exchange rate of those altcoins increases so now would be person this is my personal uh, belief is that now would be a good time if you're still dollar cost averaging is to maybe move or the the your buying orders to altcoins instead of just bitcoin since the exchange rate is incredibly good. Now, of course, make sure you're managing your risk and uh, there are, you, you can maybe, there are different altcoins and those that I would, I would consider more of the 
less risky investments and those with a bit more risky investment. So anything in the top 20 is probably a less risky investment when in terms of altcoins and everything else is probably a bit more risky since you're not sure what will happen and those altcoins experience very volatile swings. Now let's continue with XRP BTC because that's also a very good example as you can see here the XRP BTC exchange rate has also been declining heavily and we are on a very strong support at 0 0.00004 so uh, I think it's 4481 Satoshi and so uh, since we are holding this very, very strong support, the statistical probability that it will decline even further is, is, is relatively low. Now, of course, this can happen, and this is something that you have to be wary about, that in any case, support lines are not made out of steel. They can break, and then if they break, they, they break down by quite a lot. However, in my opinion, by dollar cost averaging you're mitigating the risk anyway and in my opinion by by now investing in our coins you you might you may probably increase your return on investment by a bit but since the exchange rate towards btc is much lower so when let me draw here for you let me get my pen tool so <clears throat> Let's say, so in this case, we've got XRP BTC. Here, I will be buying XRP where the red line is. And at points where it's much higher, like here, would be either a time to be buying either BTC. Yeah, just th th those times would be more or less the better time to be buying BTC since here the exchange rate is very high at the highest. And you can also use the, the the CM bottom market finder in this scenario. This one is also very good. So it's it's highlighted. I, I'm showing I show you how to install it in um, in in the act, how to actually make money in crypto video, which is linked below. And there I explain how to install this market bottom finder, and this helps you actually find the the moments where the standard deviation so the amount of price the uh, the price distance between the average price is so when that's very high then this is colored green so in my opinion as soon as this gets green it's a good time to be switching between buying from buying bitcoin to buying xrp or the altcoin of your choice now of course even though many people consider ethereum as an altcoin in my opinion i like to consider bitcoin and ethereum both as the main the most important currencies in the crypto space at the moment so you could be basing all of your portfolio on ethereum value so all your altcoin purchases on ethereum value since ethereum is also very strong base currency however in my opinion, Bitcoin still controls the market more or less by going up and down and then pulling everything with it. Uh, here, uh, another example with ADA BTC. Here, the same same scenario. So now since Bitcoin has had this massive rally, the, the, the rest of the altcoin market has been more or less going sideways in terms of exchange rate. Now, this is a good thing for accumulating our coins at a cheap price, a cheap price in BTC that you have to remind, remember, you want to be looking at the price in BTC since that's one thing that will define the value later on. And that is the price in BTC as here again, we've got a very high standard deviation distance from the average. And that's why here, this position here is green. So when this is, this becomes green, that's when I personally would switch from buying Bitcoin to buying Cardano in this case. I made a post about how to calculate your profits in sats and gray and a bit of a explanation of what sats are, how to, how to define them. 
and so on and also explaining a little bit the exchange rate since it might be a bit complicated but the easiest way to think about it you use the so as an example here we've got if btc uh, i can highlight this in orange let's put it in orange oh it's not working never mind <laughs> um so you just use this as a division so you've got ethereum for, as an example if you've got one ethereum and then you divide it by the BTC price. So for one Ether, you will get 0 0.107915 BTC or 10,791,500 sets. And that's it. So remember that you have to look at your portfolio, not only in US dollar, because the price of, of your cryptocurrency in US dollar can increase. However, the sats value can decrease so that means your the value of your cryptocurrency when you exchange it back to btc or ethereum you have less btc or ethereum even though you might believe that the us dollar value is higher and the reason why is because very many altcoins you cannot just sell them for fiat dollars some exchanges offer this opportunity so bitpanda is a good example where you can buy iota eos stellar and so on and you can buy with, with fiat dollars and you can sell it back for uh, any fiat currency but not every exchange offers that and very often for smaller cryptocurrency our coins you will have to be exchanged them back to btc or ethereum and that's why it's very important to make sure they keep track of these sat and gray values i can't emphasize that enough so hopefully you found this video interesting if you have any questions or uncertainty about how to go about it don't hesitate to leave a comment i will be happy to answer this so hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next one bye bye